forget authenticity this Thanksgiving. Just, just blow it off. Because pilgrims <laughs> would never stand for this. Maybe the pilgrims didn't even have turkey at the first Thanksgiving. But if we assume that they did, I think we can also assume that they didn't cook it whole in a deep cauldron filled with hot oil. Wicked hot oil! Of course, we can also assume that by roasting it, as most of us still do today, the pilgrims encountered the problem of dry turkey meat. In case they cared, uh, maybe dry is virtuous to them. Who knows? Well, I care! Damn it! Oops. No cursing, pilgrims. And you care! Damn it! We're sick and tired of that big bird coming to the table with white meat, the texture of paper mache, aren't we? We're mad as hell, Miles Standish! And we're not going to take it anymore. That's right. But though we may be anti-pilgrim about it, we're not going to be anti-American about it because the best antidote to dry turkey that I have ever found comes from our own great American state of Louisiana. Now, you may be aware that every Thanksgiving I try to bring you some new ideas to solve the turkey problem. Once upon a time, we discussed the two-stage turkey. Now, catch the concept here. You know, you make the big presentation of the turkey to your guests, the whole turkey, and then you bring it back in the kitchen and you take the breasts off, and then you return the rest of the turkey to the oven. Um, and you cook it, it's still at about 300 degrees, and you cook it um, for 20 to 30 minutes until I'd say you reach 175 degrees. That's fine for the dark meat. Meanwhile, you take the white meat and you uh, slice it, and this is the first course of your two course turkey service. The dark meat course comes later. Okay, so I gained 10 pounds. Once we discussed stuffed turkey legs. So I came up with a dish called stuffed turkey drumsticks with bacon, brandy, and thyme. And what you can do, you, of course, the only problem is that in order to do this, you have to buy four turkey drumsticks that are not part of the turkey that you're cooking. But that's no problem, especially, you know, at the holiday times of year, you can easily find fresh turkey drumsticks. Get them fresh. Um, and then you stuff them, and you roast them separately. And you can manage it so that they're done the same time as the white meat. And then you can make an arrangement of that stuffed turkey drumstick and the white meat together on the plate. Okay, so I gained 20 pounds. But this is what the turkey legs look like when they were done. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. And look how juicy that is. And that's, look at the juice running out of there. That, that, that filling in there is practically like a pate. It's practically like charcuterie. Yeah, now you know why I gained 20 pounds. Now once I showed you the immensely complicated Thompson's turkey. You're going to need a whole bunch of bowls right now, all right? 29 ingredients in this stuffing. Take an apple. Take a apple, peeled, cored, and diced. Put it in a bowl. Add to this an orange that has been peeled and cut up. Add to this a 20-ounce can of crushed pineapple. Add to this the grated rind of half a lemon. Add to this a 10-ounce can of water chestnuts, drained. Hey, it was the 1930s, okay? Add to this three tablespoons of chopped preserved ginger. But you know, the 1930s can taste pretty darn good, as you will see if you make this recipe. Now, in another bowl, combine two teaspoons of Coleman's mustard, two teaspoons of caraway seed, a tablespoon of celery seed, two teaspoons of poppy seed, Two and a half tablespoons of minced fresh oregano leaves. Where Morton got that in the 30s, I don't know. A large bay leaf, crushed. A teaspoon of black pepper. A half teaspoon of powdered mace. A quarter of a cup of minced parsley. Four cloves of garlic, minced. Four cloves, now, now I'm not talking cloves of garlic, I'm talking cloves, sweet cloves. Listen to this direction. Minus the heads, well chopped. Cloves minus the heads, well chopped. I told you this was a very weird recipe. See, now that guy looks healthy. But 
after I told you about those turkey strategies, which I still love, by the way, I stumbled upon the greatest turkey strategy of all. I mean it. I had a guest on um, In Food Today at Turkey Time last year, and he made a deep fried turkey, the whole thing right in the oil that was so amazingly good and it cooked so amazingly quickly, I was just, I was sold. I was transported. Moist white meat, crisp spicy skin. I'm telling you, it was just wonderful and I want you to get excited about it. But let me tell you a little bit about the history of this dish. Um, we owe this technique of uh, deep frying whole birds to the arrival on our shores of two French explorers who were sent by the French King Louis XIV to open up Louisiana in 1699. Now, these explorers were brothers. One was named Bienville, and who he later founded New Orleans. Remember Oysters Bienville? The other was called Iberville, a town in Louisiana today. They paved their way through the swampy bayous and up the Mississippi by offering the local uh, Quixada and Choctaw Indians copper and tin pots and pans in exchange for the Indians' assistance. Uh, the Native Americans, and this is where the real credit belongs, they used these pots for the first time to completely immerse and deep fry whatever local game they caught, and they fried it in rendered bear fat, of course. Hey, don't knock it until you've tried it! And what they fried in the bear fat was alligator meat, crawfish, catfish, and most importantly, yes, whole birds. Later, European hunters and trappers in search of furs and skins learned this technique as they traveled through the Choctaw and Quixada territories in the hundred years between 1780 and 1880. At the same time, those Cajuns were a little bit earlier. They were arriving from Canada, and they learned the technique, which they put to good use at the time of the pig slaughter. Neighbors would come from foreign wide to share the butchering load and when the work was done they played their fiddles and sang and danced and drank and generally lightened their lives and they of course ate and they ate and instead of using bear fat to cook their food they deep fried among other things whole birds in the lard rendered from their freshly slaughtered pigs now sadly over the next hundred years or so this technique of cooking whole birds in deep fat it slipped into national obscurity however in the late 1970s in the early 1980s, two events conspired to produce the deep fried turkey that we have today and put it back on our national table. The first event was the arrival of Paul Prudhomme, who preached the gospel of Cajun and Creole cooking. There's that happy looking guy <laughs> um, from his home base in New Orleans and won converts across the length and breadth of this fair land. The second factor was the appearance on a PBS TV show of a chef named Justin Wilson, I guarantee, I love when he says, tell you what I'm going to did. He combined the technique of deep frying a turkey with the use of a Paul Prudhomme style Cajun spice rub, like this kind of stuff. And he used another technique that he may have learned from another southern chef, Edgar Williams, and that is injecting a bird with a flavorful and moistening marinade. And that's it, man. You use this thing that's like a syringe to inject the bird. Now, I know I've got your curiosity. I know I've got your attention. I'm going to show you how this thing works and how to make a sinfully, sinfully good turkey that I guarantee even Ken Starr would eat. Come back. Sarah Moulton from Cooking Live. I'm Ming Tsai from East Meets West. I'm Donna Hanover from In Food Today, and we're wishing David Rosengarten and Taste a happy fifth anniversary here on Food Network. Keep kicking it up notches, buddy. Bam! Celebrate with the best of taste all next week at 6 p.m. Eastern. David, you are the best. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let's Glade Holiday Candle Scents. Created by nature. Captured by Glade. Mm, I got the power and I'm ready to fly. I got the power and I'm ready to fly. I got the power and I'm telling you why. I got the power and I'm ready to fly. Give any kid the power of knowing and amazing things happen. That's why we created Jumpstart, the educational software with the active inspiration system to launch kids as far as their dreams will take them. There's no stopping a kid with a jump start.
Bring the royal taster. <gasps> Bring my cat. Pork, the other white meat. Come to Food Network's Marketplace, your online source for the latest information and tools to cook like your favorite Food Network chefs. Just log on to www.foodtv.com and click here. This month, we're offering David Rosengarten's new cookbook, Taste, featuring more than just recipes. David also shares his unique technique for developing true taste. It's all yours for the price of $31 plus shipping and handling at Food Network's Marketplace, www.foodtv.com. Learning computers is hard. Classes take valuable time. Manuals are frustrating to fumble through. Seminars are expensive and only cover the basics. If you want to learn computers quickly and easily, you need to call Video Professor. Simply put the CD-ROM into your computer. The CD plays a video tutorial on your computer screen and it works just like your VCR. I feel the video helped me learn what I needed to know in a short amount of time, go into my boss and say, Listen, I know this. I can do this. I can get this job done. Best of all, it's free. Call Video Professor and get any computer tutorial absolutely free. A $39.95 value. Choose from all the most popular software. Windows 98, Word, Excel, even how to get on the internet. Video Professor is certain that when you try one free, you'll be convinced this is the only way to learn. And you'll come back for more. Don't wait another minute. Call Video Professor right now. You have so much to gain. Call now. Make the most of your time in the kitchen with TV's only call-in cooking show. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Cooking Live, weeknights at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on Food Network. Let's do it. Let's do this amazing thing. We're going to make Cajun uh, deep-fried turkey. Now, Edgar Williams, the man who came up with this gadget, he had a restaurant in uh, Clinton, Louisiana that was called the Front Porch. Oh, I love it, the Cajun injector. And uh, at the Front Porch, uh, this guy became famous for serving a prime rib, which he injected with uh, butter and Cajun spices. Um, he finally quit the restaurant business, and in 1987, he opened the Cajun Injector Company, which sells this needle and all the equipment that you need to make this kind of turkey, or other things. You can do it with other things. Um, we're going to give you his um, 800 number at the end of the show. Golly gee, I wonder what the pilgrims would make of this. Anyway, more gizmos. This, or this, this is the kind of pot that you need to do this. You see, the pot should be wide enough to accommodate the bird, but not much wider. That's the thing. Can you tell these are very tall, narrow pots? If they were wider, you'd have to put a ton of oil in there and you'd waste a lot of oil. So you want it to just kind of hold the bird. And you want it to be tall enough so you can put a lot of oil in there and yet not have it come up boiling over the rim when you lower the bird into it. Uh, you could conceivably use a lobster pot, I suppose, but believe me, you'll be a lot happier with a tall, narrow narrow pot like this. Um, and this is the contraption that you need to safely lower the bird into the hot oil. This thing and this hook thing, we'll see all about this in a moment, to raise the, the, the bird back up again once it's cooked. All right, now ideally in a perfect world you would do this outdoors because of the possibility of spilling some oil. Uh, and by all means keep the kids away from the pot for that very reason. Let me show you, here's an outdoors kind of possibility. You get something like this, a uh, propane gas burner. You hook this up to the propane tank. You get flame coming out of here. And then, of course, you just put a um, flame comes out of here and you put a big old pot on top of this. Um, and uh, it, then if anything spills, it just uh, messes up your pavement a little bit. It doesn't mess up your kitchen floor. But Listen, I've done it indoors, you can do it indoors if you're careful, and you can even do it on an electric burner as I'm about to do here. Just make sure that the electric burner is cranked up to high, because when you put the bird in, the, um, you know, it's going to lower the temperature of the oil, and you want the oil to return to frying temperature very quickly, which is, by the way, 350 degrees. Now, one last word before we get started. I wouldn't recommend trying this with a turkey that's larger than 12 pounds. Any bigger, and the outside of the meat is going to get fried. I guess it's all going to get fried. It's going to get overcooked and very brown by the time the center is done. You want kind of golden brown, but not like, you know, super incinerated brown. 
Okay, here we go. We do the marinade first. Now, the recipe for this marinade comes from a chef named Billy Jacobs, who's the executive chef of the national chain Popeyes. He appeared on In Food Today about a year ago, and I'm telling you, the stuff he made was great. We're going to make the um, injection. You could use the product made by the Cajun Injector Company, uh, Injectable Marinade. You see, they've got their own product right there, or you can make your own. Um, in a bowl, you would combine four tablespoons of kosher salt. To this, you'd add four teaspoons of garlic powder. We're also going to add a similar quantity of a uh, little bit less, a teaspoon of onion powder. Uh, I love, you know, Cajun food is so interesting because they're always using these garlic powders and these onion powders, but it wouldn't taste like Cajun food without it. Four teaspoons of white pepper. We're going to add to this as well a couple of teaspoons of cayenne pepper. You could add even more if you like. Depends on how spicy you like it. Some like it hot. Do you. That's up to you. Now, I've got some melted butter here. I've got about two cups of melted butter, and you want to mix this together. Now, what we're doing, of course, is, you know, we're making a, a butter injection, a flavored, a Cajun flavored butter injection. And the reason we're doing that is because this whole recipe, this whole concept, is all about keeping turkey juicy, right? That's what we want to do. And there's no better way to get a turkey juicy, which is in, intrinsically dry in spots, than uh, really taking the subject in hand and injecting injecting that bird, injecting that bubba with, uh, with butter. Now, the, um, the spices tend to clog this butter up a little bit and your arteries as well, but we'll talk about that another time. But what you want to do is you want to strain it a little bit so that the uh, spices don't clog up the injector. See? Okay. There we go. Now, I think we are ready to begin injecting. Remove the giblets from the turkey. Rinse the turkey thoroughly but then make sure to drain it thoroughly, get it dry because you don't want water clinging to it because when you put it in the oil, you know what'll happen, it'll go splutter all over the place. Okay, so I've strained the mixture and now I'm about to begin. Watch, put this in here. Notice this nozzle, you see this nozzle? It's very interesting to see. It's got a hole up there and then on the other side, it's got a hole over here at two different points so it squirts two places simultaneously. Let's see if we can see that. See how it's squirting in two directions at the same time. That really <laughs> helps when you're injecting the bird. Okay, I'm going to take one syringe full of this stuff, just like that. And now, my friends, I've already injected half the bird. I'm going to finish off this side for you, this half of the turkey. In the breast, there are three injections that are needed. One happened here, you can see a little hole right there. One happened here, you can see a little hole. And now I'm going to do the third breast syringe injection. It goes right in here. Now watch how you do this. You go in straight overhead like this and then you do about a third of it. Oh, look at it swell. Isn't that amazing? And then you take it out and you go into the same hole again from a different angle. This helps spread it around nicely. Oh, look at that buddy pump up. And then you do it a third time and this time I'm coming from this direction back in the same hole and once again finish your syringe full. And that's it. It spurts out a little bit, but don't worry about that. So you just uh, fill it up again, and then you would insert here in the drumstick, and then one more time and do it back here kind of in the thigh, and then you're all set. Now you're ready to put a rub on the outside. Now we want to increase the Cajun flavor. You can use the Cajun injector makes a fine rub that goes on the outside of the bird, but you can make your own. It's very simple. It's the same ingredients basically that we had before. It's uh, two teaspoons of salt. Uh, it's um, two teaspoons of garlic powder. It's half a teaspoon of onion powder. Powder. It's two teaspoons of white pepper and it's a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And you want to just sprinkle that all over the outside of the bird on both sides. Get it going. Get it all Cajuned up. Spicy. Wonderful. A little bit inside too. Anywhere you want. Okay. Um, and you know, I would do it on the other side as well. Let's just get a little bit going here on the other side. This thing is so, so tasty, but it, it doesn't, it's not that strongly flavored that it detracts from the basic taste of the bird. Okay, now what we have to do is we have three to four gallons of oil heated to 350 degrees. Now you gotta get the turkey in on this device. And here's the thing, find the cavity in here with your hands. Put this over here. Find the cavity. There we go. Get your stand. Stand by your turkey and bring it down on there. 
and I gotta loop it through the skin here so that it stays secure. There you go. Can you see how I've got that loop through the skin right there? Now it's secure in there. And what you wanna do is simply take your big old hook. This is the exciting moment, folks. Take your hook. Pick it up. You need strong arm. You need to work out for a couple months during the fall before you can do this. And then you are ready to go in your 350 degree oil. You ready? Here we go. It is a thing of beauty, my friends. You fry that turkey for three and a half minutes per pound, which works out to about, in a 12 pound turkey, about 45 minutes for the bird. And I've got one here, and now I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna remove the turkey from the pot. And grab me trusty hook over here. And drum roll, please. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, this is the best darn turkey you've ever eaten. Come back in a moment. I'll show you what it looks like at the table. The new light compact umbrella from Totes. It's so easy to carry, you'll always have it with you. There is a toothpaste so advanced, it even works when you're not brushing. Colgate Total protects you throughout the day and also at night. Colgate Total, the brushing so advanced, it works between brushings. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. Next year, all our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide. Glade Holiday Candle Scents. Created by nature. Captured by Glade. Miles away. We are making Toll House cookies. Oh, those rich and gooey Nestle Toll House morsels are right up my alley. And all over my face. Do you want one more? Do you really have to ask? Toll House bakes the very best. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let's Glade Holiday Candle Scents. Created by nature. Captured by Glade. May you next enjoy the other white meat. Presenting a rack of pork. Skewered pork kebabs and America's cut pork chops. Bring the royal taster. <laughs> my cat. Bring my cat. Pork. The other white meat. From USA Pictures, Barbara was prepared for the worst. You're not dying. You're pregnant. Excuse me? But life... Will you marry me? <laughs> ...doesn't always go the way you expect. Stockard Channing, Stephen Collins, Christine Ebersole, and RuPaul. An unexpected life. Sponsored in part by KFC Hawaii and Castle Resorts and Hotels. Here's the play. Ford, I want you to take a button hook pattern into the flats. Jones and Tyler, I want you to pass block. In the comma, watch out for the blitz. Okay, men, go out there and make me proud. Some things in life are difficult. But making a tasty meal shouldn't be. That's why there's Kraft Simple Answers. Easy recipes like knife and fork turkey sandwiches. So head to Foodland, where stovetop stuffing is now on sale. Kraft Simple Answers. Good food and good food ideas. <laughs> Okay, Miles Standish, I know you're not going to be happy, but Wah! gaze upon that, please. I mean, it's a thing of beauty. Come on, all you Puritans of the world. 
God gave you five senses. Use them, enjoy them, and give thanks at Thanksgiving for having them. Look at this beautiful thing. I'm so loving this deep fried Cajun turkey. Let me show you how juicy this thing looks. Oh man, it's just squirting juice all over the place. How could it not? And you see, there's the smoke rising from it. It's juicy, it's tender, it's perfectly cooked inside. You can see that it's, you know, it's only like 40 or 45 minutes in the pot, but it's definitely done. Let me cut a little piece of breast meat off over here. See, see all the juice that's, look at that. Look at all the juice that's coming out of there. It's just running out on my plate with my Thanksgiving accompaniments. Uh, I'm going to give thanks um, for the American bounty. I'm going to drink a bottle. See, with deep fried food, I always love sparkling wine. Often I drink champagne from France. But today, I'm going to drink this American wine for Thanksgiving. It's from Napa Valley, Schramsburg, the first producer of real high quality sparkling wine in California. This is the Blanc de Blanc, 1990. Pour myself a glass. Give thanks for this great Cajun idea of whole deep fried turkey with Cajun spices. Say goodbye to you. Wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Hope you come back see me again. Remember, life is a matter of taste. Bye. a copy of the recipes you've just seen, please send us $4 for postage and handling to the address on the screen. You can also get the recipes for free when you visit our website at foodtv.com or AOL keyword food. Cook well, eat well, live well. Every weeknight, Donna Hanover and David Rosengarten host the all-new In Food Today. Now serving up even more food news you can use. It's easier than you think. In Food Today, weeknights at 6.30 Eastern. Boom, here we go. Get it up. People are wild about it in the restaurant. People love this dish. Pork. 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 <laughs> hey, guys, we're popular again. <laughs> yeah, with mashed potatoes. <laughs> Ooh, that is good, I guarantee